Hey guys, this is Esther. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a project share of what I sent my partner Jessica for our binder mail swap. If you haven't checked out the amazing Maggie Holmes binder mail she sent me, I will leave the link to the video in the description box below so that you guys can check it out and see what an amazing partner she is. And don't judge because my binder mail is nowhere as close as amazing as hers. Okay, so for this binder mail, we had to keep it one theme. I made my theme spring. Spring is like the flowers blooming. We get all these beautiful flowers. Let me show you my binder mail that I made for my partner. Ta-da! This is the binder that I made for her. As you can see, I am not a professional at layering, but I do like to, you know, fiddle faddle with it. And I do like how it turned out. I kind of, for a moment, was really challenged and kind of had to step back. And I contacted a friend and asked her, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? And, you know, she was really nice and I kept bugging her. On the side, I've added this ruffle trim that I received in friend mail from Rosa Gomez. In the back, I left as is because it is a flower theme. Now Maggie Holmes has this line or this collection and it's called Willow Lane and I love the little panda girl and you know that's a little dark compared to like all her pinkies and stuff like that so that's why I left with its original in the background because I really do like the black with the vibrant pink and yellow flowers. Anyways that's what the front looks like. I really don't know what collections all these are. I kind of mixed all all the collections. So I put Bloom and Grow. I have a little butterfly. We've got some flowers, a little deer, a little cluster of flowers down here. And yeah. So now we go to the inside. So ta-da! This is what the inside looks like. She can just snip this little yarn and then use these trims. And then here are little cutouts of little houses because I am on a house craze. I love anything little houses. And then these are like the shingles to the houses because we had to include some die cuts. Um, and then I just wrote her name on that. And these little houses turn out like this. How adorable is this? I think. Um, so this was part of what came in the little binder. This was actually a garden, a gardening binder. Um, but I took everything out and I just kind of left these. I added the little squirrelies and the butterfly. And then this is like the first page. I added a little pocket here and I gifted her some stamps. I don't know if she likes cutesy, um, but if she doesn't, maybe this could be a way to kind of step out of her comfort zone and try different things. So included in the binder mail, we had to include three different styles of embellishments. And the first one, of course, is the one I always send to everybody, which is the little foxes, because they are so stinking adorable. And I love making these. Like, I can make these all day, every day. Um, and I left the little sheet clear because I thought it looked so pretty in the background that you can see all the cute stuff that's in the background. I left this one blank just in case she wanted to add flowers or a bow or I don't know, maybe she wanted to add something else. So I left that one for her to do and yeah. Oh and then I added these little um, bow tabs and these are all from the Planner Society so every plastic sleeve has one of these little tabs. Then there's this little envelope and on the inside I've included um, some of my little crocheted bows for her to put in her projects if she wants. So cute. And then here we have some of the Planner Society little houses and then this is from Maggie Holmes Houses. In the back I have this pocket and I've gifted her this uh, set of dies. I have another embellishment, and this embellishment are the boots, and these are from Sizzix. And it's just one boot, but I double cut them and put some foam so it could look like it's a pair of boots, but it's just one boot that comes in the die. And then we also had to include five samples of washi. It could not be a, um, a solid color. It had to be a print. So I went ahead and gave her six so that 
you know, it would be equal. And these are Planner Society houses that I have um, cut and laminated. These are the samples of washies. Of course, these are my three ultimate favorite, favorite ones. This is from Simply Gilded, Simply Gilded, the Planner Society. And these are so cute as well. And then here I just have like a cluster of a whole bunch of little cutie stuff that I thought was really cute. And um, it's like a cluster of pictures of friends. And then right here we have this little bow and this could be removed. And then she can use it just on like those little dots. And then here I've added some charms she could use. And then this is gold uh, string. And then this is the third embellishments that I made. And it's the little bear. And I used paper from the Christmas collection from Michael. So it could look like it's like little fluffy teddy bears. But it's that um, one collection that's got like the sweaters and stuff like that. So it looks like it's a bear, but it's not. <laughs> and then the next one is this page. And this is my girl. She, I love her. She's so stinking adorbs. I can't handle her. And I have gifted her two bows that could be removed. I think this is like my favorite thing in the whole book. This one, or actually no, maybe it's the these galoshes. I don't know. I like them both. And then we also had to include two bag toppers that were ready to use that she didn't have to do anything to them. So I gave her four, two kind of medium ones and two small ones and they are decorated and ready to go. And we also had to include a sheet of stickers. And so I gifted her my Planner Society March stickers because I'm sure she will put them to good use. She's an amazing crafter, as you guys saw from her video. So I hope that she can use this uh, sheet of stickers somehow. And yeah, guys, that is the binder mail that I made for her. I hope that she likes it. Like I said, nowhere near as amazing as what she gave me, but still made with lots and lots and lots of love. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you that I made for her is if you remember, um, I think last week or maybe the week before, I made a tutorial on how to do the book card because you guys had asked me to show and share with you guys. So I made her a book card and I started using... I started making it in that tutorial. So I showed you how I laid the background paper and then I said I wouldn't show you what it ended up looking into my next project share, which is ta-da, this one. So let me show you the card. As I told you, I'm on a little house craze. So I love all the little houses that are coming out. So I made her like a little crafty community book card. Ta-da, this is the book card I made for her. So this is what the front looks like. We've got trims. And this is the packaging of the Planner Society March Kit. We've got some of the gold, ri um, not ribbon, uh, thread. And then we have these little cactus and a little heart. This is Planner Society. And these two little houses in the back are from uh, Lace Boutique 1. Those are digital houses that you can purchase if you'd like. And I will leave a link to her Etsy in the description box below if you guys are interested in purchasing those. And I added more of that trim that I got from Rosa and then some of the Hobby Lobby trim on both sides. On the back, I left it like that and I did stamp that it was handmade by me and more of the little houses from Lace Boutique 1. Those are so adorable, you guys. You guys have to get your hands on them. Then on the inside, ta-da! This is um, what it looks like. Of course, we have my girl, the little panda girl, which I think is adorable. And then the first house in the front is Planner Society. The two in the back are from Maggie Holmes. And then the two in the back are from the Planner Society as well. We've got some little pins, you know. People have little flowers in the front of their houses and stuff like that. So I added those little cactus. I think they're cute or succulents, cacti, I don't know. We have more little houses down here. And then here I just did like a cluster of uh, squares, kind of like when you go to a house and they have like a wall of picture frames and stuff like that. So that's what I did for that one. And I thought it was kind of cute. So I added the little, I guess, succulents is what they're called, uh, just to kind of tie in that everybody's got little cactus as porch uh, plants. So anyways, that is the little card. And if you remember from the other video, 
I wanted to have the night sky because that's what I wanted to use, but this was camping paper, so I had to take this one and kind of flip it upside down. But you see, once it's all covered and once you add your plants and you kind of, uh, your placement of your little houses, you can't really tell what it was. And that is it. So these are the two handmade projects that I will send my partner. But anyways, guys, that is it for my project share. If you haven't tried making a book card, I will leave, like I said, the tutorial in the description box below so you guys can check it out. I will also leave the video sharing what she made me. And then I will also leave Lace Boutique's um, link for her Etsy to get some of her cute little houses. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you guys like this video. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and join our tiny family. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.